Hi everyone. Uh, today uh, I'm going to discuss about another important interview question: How to monitor Spring Boot application? This is a well-known interview question. In, if you are attending uh, Spring Boot and Microservices interview, definitely they will ask you this question. Like uh, they can ask you, "Hey, how to monitor your Spring Boot application?" Okay. The straightforward answer is activators. They like they will expect you. to answer the uh, answer is actuators actuator is a topic in the spring boot application using actuators we can monitor and manage our applications okay we have lot of advantage by using the actuators let me explain the theory and as well as a demo as well guys okay now actuators provided several pre defined http endpoints guys several Pre-defined HTTP endpoints to monitor our application. Pre-defined HTTP means already URLs are exist. Those URLs, if you access, you can able to track different kind of activities here. What kind of features it is providing means activators are used to provide production ready features of our application. Okay, if you want to implement in your project, you need to add one of the starter called Spring Boot Starter Actuator Dependency in the pom dot xml file. Here you may get a question: What are the production ready features of our application? Production ready features means information about our application, health of the application. What are the beans? By default, when you run your application, IOC container will create singleton objects. What kind of beans it is created, and what are the config properties are loaded, and how many threads are running? What is the heap area, and how many objects are created, and what What are the URLs? Suppose you may have a number of controls. What kind of URLs are available? It will give lot of information related to the production ready features. Once you added the dependency in your pom dot xml to enable all pre-defined endpoints, you need to enable one of the property called web exposure include equal to star. It represents almost thirteen endpoints are enabled inside your Spring Boot project. Okay, hope you guys are clear on the high level information. Now, what I can do? Let me demonstrate a small example so that it will be easy for you here. What I am doing? Let me quickly create a project for you guys. now what i am doing is let me take a project name as actuators okay let me make it actuators uh, i am taking group id package everything as same i am choosing java version as 17 uh, maven type i am using choose the next option here i need spring web dependency just you can type as a actuator here spring boot actuator these two things are required for you now choose the next option i am choosing 3.1.4 as the spring boot version and just finish it let it create the project <clears throat> guys at least we are expecting 50 to 100 likes for this video guys whoever watching if you are really interested if you are following daily please like and comment guys so that we can do more and more videos based on your likes and comments okay so please share as much as you can so our application is running here we need to add your uh, configuration inside your application dot property just you can type web dot exposure okay just type web dot exposure dot include and exclude let me add as a include option make it as a star that's it now just you can run the application right click run as spring boot application you can able to see where you can track the data as well uh yes application is started on 8080 port number see exposing 13 endpoints under slash actuator here how to access go to the browser uh guys whatever videos we are uploading now just you can type java express in the url and go to the playlist here we have a interview guide here just click here all types of interview questions are available under this list let me uh, let me click on the playlist just a minute now here see this is a view playlist here just click here you can able to see the videos here
okay now here how to access http localhost 8080 slash activator here that's it you can able to see all your actuator endpoints here you can able to see a raw data so what i can do let me add as a json extension uh, for this uh, to display in the nice format just i need to add one extension here let me add it here okay click add to chrome click add extension okay and let me refresh it here see these are the endpoints are available here now each endpoints now you can see now here oh, okay let me open another url now see scope is singleton what are the beans are created you can able to track it here if any catchy now this is the endpoint where you can check your application is up or not uh, and if you see config props you can see any configuration information what type of properties you enabled in your application that property what are the default properties everything you can able to track it here okay and if you want to see any loggers specific just you can see logging level which logging level you enable those information you can able to see and this is the uh, thread dump here okay now see uh, how many threads are created and you can able to track all the threads in this particular page so in this way by using the actuators we can monitor our application now this is your mappings here see what are the endpoints we have actuator slash heap dump actuator slash thread dump if you create your own aps those aps also it will be display for you uh, uh, as part of this endpoints and another important endpoint is available called metrics here here it will give you a lot of metrics related to your application okay uh, after starting your application how much time it took application ready time it, you can able to track it here see 3.782 seconds it took to start our application and then if you want to see uh, related to how many requests you made till now http request copy and slash and paste it here see 12 requests i made is there any exceptions no what kind of urls you configured see these many urls you straight away you hit the api any success and zero four zero four and 200 so in this way by using the actuators we can monitor our application guys if you like our videos please like subscribe our channel thank you